Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the book The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This is one of the most helpful self-help books ever written and has sold more than 25 million copies. So let's look at what the seven habits of highly effective people are. The first habit is being proactive, that is taking in charge of your life. The first habit talks about realizing that there are two ways to live life. The first way is to live a reactive lifestyle. Things just seem to happen to you, and you're too busy reacting on everything. He says, you can either act or be acted upon. That's being proactive. We all have a circle of concern, right? A circle of concern is everything a person is concerned about, whether it be personal health, family, education level, etc. So within this circle of concern, we have a circle of influence. A circle of influence is everything that concerns us that we have some type of control over. And this is the area we should be proactive in. So instead of worrying about the things that are beyond our control, like worrying about the weather outside or what others think about you, you should try to focus on the areas that are in your control. So in any situations, we can choose to be either proactive or reactive. The basic idea is that by choosing to be proactive, you are choosing to increase your circle of influence. Stop thinking about what you can't control. A proactive person knows very well that when things don't go right, worrying about it wouldn't solve anything. The second habit is begin with the end in your mind. When we start towards something, we should think of our destination first, and then of how we're going to reach there. According to Stephen Covey, the author, everything in this universe is created to us. Once in our mind, and once in the real physical world. So the problem is that many things are created in the mind, but never manifested into tangible things because we tell ourselves it is not possible. So most of the times, what's stopping us from achieving something is mostly ourselves. Now that we've talked about the end, let's talk about the beginning. The next habit that we're gonna talk about is putting first things first. Ask yourself, What's the most important thing for you in this moment? We need to get into the habit of putting first things first. Focus on what's really important. We have all fallen to the vicious cycle of waking up late, spending more time in television and mobiles, and being unorganized. So how do you manage time efficiently? Focus on what's really important and make it a priority. The next habit is thing going with. The author states that there are six types of relationships. The first one is lose, win, or win, lose. That is, in order for me to win, you have to lose. This is a poor and sick mindset to have. But people still live with this outlook because of lack of abundance mindset. The next type of relationship is lose, lose. This is a relationship that you must avoid at all costs. That is, in the end, both the parties does not get the benefit because of greed, competition, jealousy, and other reasons. The fourth type of relationship is win. The win relationships aren't really a relationship at all, since they only affect one person. People in this type of relationship doesn't really care about others as long as they get what they want. And that's actually very selfish. The next one's no deal. This one's pretty neutral. That is, if you both can't come to an end where you both get the benefit, then there is no deal. The last and best type of relationship is win-win. That is, for you to win, the other person doesn't have to lose. By this way, we can share knowledge and make profit together. This is the type of relationship you should look forward to. So face every situation with the win-win mentality. Habit number five is seek first to understand, then to be understood. The author gives a little story where he's having a talk with his coworker about a situation at home. He had a talk with his son and then went to his friend for advice. He said, I just can't seem to understand my son sometimes. He won't listen to me. And his friend goes, wait, you can't understand your son because he won't listen to you? I thought to understand another person, you have to listen to them. Isn't that true? How many times have you tried to listen to their side of the story first? Understanding another person's values doesn't just come natural. We will see the world through our perceptions, ideas, and views. 
So try to understand other people better and understanding leads to effectiveness. The sixth habit he talks about is synergy. This basically means that the interaction of two or more parts to produce an outcome that is greater than the sum of their original parts. The basic idea behind this is that different people bring different values, ideas and strengths. So instead of simply accepting these differences, we should celebrate it and we should value these differences. The seventh and last habit is sharpening the soul. Make sure you're always updating your knowledge. Sharpening the soul is an important tool businessmen and scholars use. There's no end to learning. Living a meaningful and effective life doesn't just happen. You have to spend time improving several areas of your life and skills. Thank you for watching this video and please do comment what other habits do you think effective people should have.